Now, I'm arriving at work late today. Well, there's a reason because I was doing work somewhere else. So I'm coming on this site that is been left to the <laughs> left to these guys. Now, I haven't been here. So let's see what's going on. Say hi, Jimmy. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm glad to hear that. That's awesome. Say hi, Mohammed. Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you. They're, see, they're doing work. Now, this may be, I have to warn Willie because if I walk upstairs and Willie's up there and he's not prepared, you never know what you're going to hear. So, Willie. New Brunswick. Let's get our hashtag Where are you? I don't know where Will is. Oh, so Will's a bad example. Either that or he's in a closet. I have no idea. Anyways, so I had this job. Wow, it's allowed in here. So I have this job that's getting done. And uh, that's usually when I come into a whole lot of noise. And I hear Will coughing somewhere. But all that mud and taping up there, Will's done that. Now, here's the thing. They've been here for over two hours. Do you know what they're doing? They're doing the work that I told them to do. I said, this is what I want you guys to do. And when I come, I'll see where we're at. And so I came and I took a look and saw where we're at. And guess what? They're doing their jobs. You know, they knew I was coming. Uh, because, well, I come every day. And they knew I have an expectation that the job gets done. Why? Because I have the same expectation every day. I don't hire them to stand around. I hire them to work. And they know what the expectation is. And uh, for the most part, they do it. Which is awesome. See, it's a really simple connection that I'm making this morning. See, they're working even though they know I'm not around. And a lot of times... Um, our perception of God is that he's not around and that he's not watching or that uh, his return isn't soon or that um, I can just slack off for now. What difference does it make? But the truth is, the Bible says, God says, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. And a lot of times that is a comfort, but that also should give us a sobering thought that wherever we are, God is watching. God is making sure that we are doing the things that are going to give us life. And a lot of times those things that are going to give us life take work and we don't want to do that work. So we slack off and we think that God is being harsh because God disciplines us. But God's discipline is so that we can be the people that we need to be so that we can do the, week, the things that we need to do so that we can enjoy the life that he's created us to enjoy. But a lot of times we just forget and we slack off and then God comes and says, why isn't the work getting done? And then chastises us. And we're like, why? It's like, God, because that's not what I created you for. It says, he said, I um, prepared you for every, uh, I've created you for a good work that I prepared in advance for you to do. So God's created a job for you. God has created you for that job. God has made you and equipped you so that you can do the things that he has created you to do. And yet a lot of times we just forget that God is even around or God is... God is holding us accountable or God is watching or God is going to be disciplining us. See, if I came in here and these guys were slacking around, I'd have words. If I came in and nothing was getting done, I'd say, I'd have a problem. And if that was on a regular basis, somebody would probably get fired. And it's happened before. These guys are doing their job. Why? Because they're disciplined. Because they know what the stakes are. They know that they can do the things that I've asked them to do. And they're just doing it. They're a good example of what a Christian should be. They're good guys. Now I gotta go find Will and give him a hard time. Not that he hasn't done any work, but I'm gonna have a hard time anyway. Cause well, that's what I do. Okay, have a great day.